My name is Serge Zamalara. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter Expedite or business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos. Hello guys and welcome to another day with Right now I'm in picking up at Penske here and um, look at all these vans that's here to pick it up. All of us, we, you know, we have the loads delayed. We've been here for a couple hours at uh, very least. I want to show you something. Sprinter right here. This is Oscar's Sprinter. He's got the AC over here. This van has a propane heater on the inside. And I actually will show you this heater right now. It's a pretty nice 2015 van. Four cylinder. Definitely a smart choice. Having a four cylinder. propane heater looks like in the sprinter van or whatever if you want to set up like a propane yeah it's a new port uh by dickinson and this is the vent yeah that's the vent so um how long does it last with this big tank um with one tank it'll last me quite a while depending on how many hours you run it but uh, mm -hmm. it'll it'll last me quite a bit so i've got a uh, hose that connects to to the tank uh -huh. and then this is the the wiring. the wiring yeah is that for that the battery you, that you can connect to a battattery and then that runs the fan uh-huh yeah so any other it, controls besides this unit so this is everything like right yeah here. that's basically it so yeah. what is this little thing that opens up. so this uh, yeah this opens up this is where where you light it oh so you do need to light it yeah you you, you light like it with the lighter yes with the lighter mm -hmm. and um, basically you you push it in here and you'll you get a flame you, mm -hmm. an actual flame so that you, is interesting yeah so you close the door is this like a it's made for rvs yes rvs boats boats yeah boats? Boats. for boats, boats. Mm -hmm. I saw wow. it before how much boats. does it cost um around 700 dollars but it, sometimes you can you know find it used someone might... so dickinson that's the brand dickinson yeah newport, newport. Yeah. Cool. Where'd you pick this up? eBay. I Amazon? I bought it off of a, a person that was selling it mm -hmm. used. Um, uh, he, uh, off of uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. So yeah, sometimes people will Does be selling have, it. So you can. How much did know. you get it for? Craigslist? I paid five hundred. That's a good deal. It's a good deal because it was brand new. He hadn't used it. He he had bought it and never used it. So it, it was brand new. That is very cool. Thanks yeah. for explaining this to me. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I am loaded. I'm ready to go. I hope you like that little uh, introduction of the new system for the propane heating in case you guys are interested in heating with propane. Uh, I know what some of you guys might th think or say that it might not be safe or whatever and uh, for the searches, uh, storage uh, points uh, for the propane. Uh, if you want to make any recommendations, feel free. Um, of course, you know I have the little body heater for the propane, but this is just a temporary thing. Uh, most likely, I'm going to go with um, uh, diesel air heater uh, with one of these setups uh, it only makes sense this van actually came with this type of setup but for those of you that maybe have a RV you would have a propane tank um, you know maybe this is a good option you know put a propane you know uh, heater inside and even for the sprinter and stuff but now these diesel air heaters are getting a little bit more cheaper I was surprised to find and even cheaper than eBay uh, on Amazon for $186. But here's what I've been noticing, guys. I, I, I'm noticing a lot better pricing on Amazon. It used to be where Amazon pricing were a little bit of a ripoff. I still would buy for them, you know, uh, because I'm a, I'm a Prime member on Amazon. Uh, I took it as a convenience fee, sort of, to me, because. Um, delivery was free so I figured listen you know if I'm paying a couple bucks more on Amazon you know and the delivery is free you know it's a good deal because some of the stuff that I've ordered was really big items guys especially for my kids like four-wheelers and things of that nature um, but the pricing have definitely improved and as I'm doing Amazon FBA and you guys been really noticing that uh, what I'm doing um, I've been you know shopping for the items and stuff and I'm scanning stuff in store. I'm realizing that uh, the clearance pricing at Walmart stores 
is exactly the same pricing that's on Amazon for a clearance. You know, so if you go to like Amazon, chances are it's like you're buying it on clearance. But always uh, be wise, uh, do your research, uh, look how much it costs on, at Walmart. Uh, there's a Walmart app that you could get, like you could download. And if you got like a like a Amazon app as well, you could kind of compare pricing. You could scan how, like uh, any item uh, in any store with your Amazon app and you see what it sells for on Amazon before you make that purchase. Let's say like Walmart, you want to buy something, scan that item on Amazon. Hey, maybe it's cheaper on Amazon. Go ahead and uh, buy it on Amazon then because it's going to be like free shipping. Um, but sometimes you will find a better deal, like a, like a really, really good clearance at uh, Walmart or whatever, and maybe you want to, you know, pick that up. But for me, it's really important to find these amazing deals to ship it to Amazon. But guys, I'm having a very hard time doing that because um, visiting a lot of different stores because Amazon pricing is that good. So even if I'm finding uh, a clearance item at Walmart, chances are it's selling for the same price at Amazon. So I can't even, cannot even buy that. So. Uh, you know, hopefully it's a little advice that you did not ask for, but I'm always full of advice and stuff like that um, So guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Stay safe in this winter season Take care ask questions if you guys have any please. I'll respond